season three episode 14 the boiling rock part one we got a two-parter up in here how exciting <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm pushed. If you can't t okay. I, well, it's funnier when Uncle tells it. Yeah. Well, if you can't remember the beginning of the joke. <laughs> just laugh. Yeah, exactly. Just laugh it off, man. Come on. I was going to say, what's up with him? So what's up? Peace. My guess is they were taken to the Boiling Rock. What's that? The highest security prison in the Fire Nation. Ooh. It's on an island that used to be a boiling lake. I love this music that they're playing, too. We're already off to like a real, I wouldn't say grim start of an episode, but like this episode's taking itself very seriously so far. I like this. This is cool. It's inescapable. So where is this place? Maximum Why security prison. We're going to break him out. Mm. That's no. Sure it does. Nope, because I mean we're gonna have to make a rescue op at some point. Um, I'm assuming that's what this. I mean, this episode was a long. It's a two-parter, so uh, I'm guessing we're gonna go and retrieve them, because you know we gotta get our troops back for uh, when the comet comes, or at least fighting the firewood before the comet comes, anyways. But, uh, yeah, are we going to have another heist kind of-esque episode or, like, prison break? Because that would be pretty cool. Is he trying to sneak out and do this on his own? Are you serious right now? Zuko's... <laughs> That's true. That is so real. That's the most truthful thing he's ever said, to be honest with you. Well, not real. I mean, sometimes he's happy. Sometimes. Like, I think he was pretty happy and content with his life in Bossing Say before his sister came. But, yeah. The fact that he was going to go and do this by himself is crazy to me. Wait, do you think it's going to be these two teaming up to go? I assumed we would wake the whole group and we all go and save them, but... It might be too risky to, like, you know, take the Avatar back there, so. Yeah, we just had a buddy-buddy episode in the last one with Aang and Zuko. Are we going to have another, like, buddy cop episode, but with Sokka and Zuko? I really like these team-ups. If we're doing that, I'm so down for these team-ups. Zuko's gonna feel the same. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's been trying to do for so long. No, you don't. You're gonna get yourself captured. Also, he would be incredibly helpful for Intel. I mean, it's not just another person. He's the crown prince of the Fire Nation. He should know how a lot of things operate and work there. He can be incredibly helpful in helping Sokka sneak in. Yep, and everyone's going to wonder where they went. <laughs> Feed meat. Gone fishing. Back in a few days. Sokka and Zuko. One more thing. Egg, practice your firebending while I'm gone. Do 20 sets of fire fists and 10 fire <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
At least it's cool homework. <laughs> I like that he left a note for him like he's his mom or something. It's like and make sure it's like make sure to get your chores done before I get home or something like that. It's funny. I was gonna say what yeah. something to talk about. The small talk is crazy. He's trying to break the silence. He's also in being imprisoned right now. Yeah, it seems to run in the family. Hey, hold on, not everyone in my family is like that. I know, I know, you've changed. I've met my uncle. I was gonna say Iroh as well. Yeah, no, they were low key like perfect for each other. They, they had the same personality, it was so funny. Like they were so toxic to each other, but it worked because they were both toxic. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yep. There's plenty of steam to keep us covered. As long as we're quiet, we should be able to navigate through it without being caught. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, I trust Zuko on this. So hopefully he's right. Oh! Okay, this is... Oh! Physics! You're about to. For your guys, they're gonna be stranded here. It is called the Boiling, boiling Isles, right? <laughs> You're gonna have to find another escape plan. I suspect it might be a one way ticket. Maybe this would happen if you wanted to come anyway. So there. Hmm. What are you doing? It doesn't work anyway. We don't want anyone to find it. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, we're gonna have to. I wonder what the. <laughs> like, I don't even know what they're. Even if they break them out, they have to find a way to get out. Like, they were just stranded here now. Could be useful, they might be out here. I didn't do anything. You didn't bow down when I walked by, Chit Sang. What? That's not a prison rule. Do it. Make me. Oh, ooh. Cool. Sick. Fire mapping is prohibited. You know it in the code. Well, wow. he really set him up, didn't he? That's messed up. Dang. I mean, at least they aren't adamant about him taking it off. I, I, I'm i kind of worried one of them's going to get like, cornered, especially Zuko, get cornered into taking it off or accidentally has it taken off and they're going to see his massive scar and they're like, traitor, 
and then they're gonna be screwed. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> Good to get some intel. I mean, like, we're only going off his best guess here that they're all locked up in Boiling Rock. Now, I'm guessing they are actually here, but... To them, they actually don't have any confirmation if they're here or not, so it was just a massive guess. That is just not true. I think we're about to I think we're about to make history here. We're about to break a lot of people out of here. Now, now they're stuck here. So we came all this way for nothing. When life seems hard, take a bite out of the silver sandwich. What? Wait, did that? <laughs> did, did that speech actually work? I mean, I respect it. I respect that he always tries to like think how Iroh would think. I, I just don't know if the analogy really worked, but hey, man, if it inspired him, or at least made him think of something, that's better than nothing. I don't probably not. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, we literally haven't seen her since her disguise was taken. Like last season, it's been yeah since last season since we've seen her. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, to her, she's probably just being, like, harassed. This is probably pretty common for her, too, which is unfortunate. Considering how quick she reacted, but then again, she's a warrior, so I guess it makes sense. Oh. What's the idea here? Dude, your cover's gonna be blown immediately. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> We really exposed him. Okay. Well, they all know it's Zuko now. Oh. Eesh. This is bad. The scar, dude. <laughs> you broke my niece's heart. That's May's uncle? Oh, that's right.
Yeah, like the what? Oh. Yeah, instead of like having a hot air balloon where it matches the temperature, so they start sinking, like use the cold to escape the boiling water. It makes a lot of sense, actually. I walked around the perimeter. There's a blind spot between two guard towers. It's the perfect launching point. I already tested it out. We'll roll the cooler into the water and just float with the current. It'll take us straight across. Yeah, the only thing we're hatching is an egg. What? <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say someone's gotta misbehave, get themselves inside the cooler. Uh, hey, what are you stupid? Watch where you're going. <laughs> It's so fake, it's so funny. If you use firebending, you'll get thrown in the box. Dang. There you go. <laughs> no firebending. Into the cooler. Nice. Cool. Dude, I really like this. Prison Break pseudo heist episode. This is cool. I like really like this. I can take you back to your cell if you've learned your lesson. Some robbers, a couple traitors, some war prisoners. So they do, they might actually be here. Oh, well, no wonder this is a two-parter because things have just gone shaken up. <laughs> Oof. Mm-hmm. Never. So what do we do? You have to pick. Is. Okay. He had the decision to make. You better hope they all fit. That's a lot of people. Oh, cool. Not exactly. I mean, if that never happened and you had never come back here, you would have never been rescuing Suki. Ever. At all. So, not necessarily. It's, you know, even bad decisions, bad moments can always lead to good outcomes as well. So, I, I disagree there. But I have a feeling he's going to send everyone else away. And it's just going to be a Sokka solo mission going to rescue his dad. Or a Sokka and Zuko mission going and rescuing him. But uh, all these everyone everyone else, including Suki, I'm guessing we're going to get them out of here. No, it's not. Look, Sokka, you're going to fail a lot before things work out. Mm-hmm. That's supposed to make me feel better? Even though you'll probably fail over and over and over again. Seriously, not healthy. Mm -hmm. That's really wise. No. I'm staying. Gave up our only chance of escaping. Suki's not going with him? I mean, I know she didn't want to leave without him, but I thought he would kind of like pressure her or force her to go. All right. We got a trio now. This is exciting. Two incredibly skilled warriors and one firebender. Watch these guys get caught. They might. 
You're gonna get cooked in there. You stupid, stupid, stupid guy. Well, now I'm really glad Suki didn't go with him. <laughs> you idiot, you buffoon. Yep. Oh, they're not back yet. Yep, because the dude decided to be stupid. Mm hmm. They stole it. <laughs> Fair enough. This is so stupid. <laughs> like, this guy is so dumb. I, I, I get it. He wanted to move faster because it did look like they were being cooked alive. But you really... I mean, I guess it was an accident that he got his hand in the water. But, like... I don't know. I feel like you can conceal a scream. I know people scream in pain, you know, and like it's, you know, it's a real thing. It's good to let out that energy. But I feel like when you're in a situation like this where you have to be on the down low, you can restrain yourself from screaming, even if it's the most blood curdling, painful experience. You know, you just like, you know, pent it up in there and like tense up or whatever. But we're give the loudest like war cry screech ever. <laughs> Yep. The gondola's moving. Could that be them? This is it. This is it. I can't be here. I'm oh sorry. no. Oh no. Hey you. Get off the gondola. Oh. Awesome. Cool. Intriguing. Super intriguing. Hmm. What an interesting episode. I like the Sakazuko team up. The fact that they crashed here and then immediately got stranded was like huge downside. But I do like the whole like episode where you're like planning an escape prison break i love prison break stuff so like, kind of like how i like heist kind of stuff prison breaks are you know in the similar boat for me you know similar ish concepts on how they operate anyways so a lot of prison break stuff so this was fun and we rescued suki um but then again they didn't escape so suki is still with them but at least i i think she'll make it out with them and I'm assuming Sako will get that as well. Now, will we escape without any consequences? I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe. I, I, I will see in the next one, I guess. Um, But yeah, this felt like a lot of build-up, really. I mean, we did plan to escape, and then the other guys tried to escape. So we did accomplish something, although they immediately fell because that dude stuck his hand in the water like an idiot. Um, But yeah. It definitely felt like set up, so I'm expecting part two to be like a lot more bombastic or I don't want to say intriguing because I did like this episode. It's making it sound like this episode was not intriguing, but I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, I did like this. It, it took itself a little bit slower, but that's totally OK. I'm fine when shows do that. Not everything needs to be a fast pace. I don't have a fully brain rotted brain <laughs> yet, so yeah um but the little sneak away in the beginning and the music played in this episode especially in that beginning scene when Sako was talking to Zuko really cool like when he was planning on coming over here and then being undercover as guards was always fun I was not expecting Zuko to be caught and revealed to be you know Zuko in that prison at all at least not in part one like that that was that happened crazy fast to be honest with you but I mean, we got everyone and formed an escape plan, so honestly, in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, kind of. I mean, their dad showed up. You know, Sokka's dad showed up, so that's cool. But at the same time, since people were just trying to escape, they're going to be on, like, maximum security lockdown. 
and the fact that these three are not in the places where they're supposed to be, they're going to be fugitives inside the prison, most likely. So it's gonna be, you know, we're gonna see how this plays out. But I am intrigued, and I'm excited. So I'm expecting a really cool prison break in the next episode. So yeah, I'm excited. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in the next one.